Hello everybody and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Last time we left off we just got through the desert area and today we're going into the arctic area. So let's see what we got. Let's go back over it again. So, a whole bunch of vikings. And for some odd willing reason, willing to bet that this is everything I'll need for right here. See what we got, see what we got. Come on, guys. I will call you Chad. Come on, Chad. Chad! Oh, no. I didn't think the Vikings were going to be that badass. I was wrong. What if I did the whole cannons thing? Had some musket men right here just to distract them. And again, I hate to do it like this, but just to cause them all to go to one area type of deal. There we go. That caused them all to bottleneck in a little bit. And then all my long range stuff can take them out. Here we go. Fuck them up. Let's go. Don't no, stop shooting. There we go. Keep them back. Keep them back. Nope, nope, it's going downhill. Go cannons, go. Nope, didn't work. Nope, kind of working. Man, these guys got health. For days, they're taking cannon fire. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Fight Vikings with Vikings. We're just going to try some people I've never tried before. So let's go in here, put down some axe Vikings and see what that does. Oh my god, those are hella axes. Jesus. These guys are clearly barbaric, oh my gosh. <laughs> like Amazon people. This is crazy. Here we go. I'm not sure entirely what's happening or who's hitting who at this point. It's very confusing. Okay. Sure. Now what do we got? Now they got axe people and a whole bunch of just like pipe, like peasants? Headbutters. Okay, a whole bunch of headbutters. So, based on what I learned, we're just going to have a whole bunch of archers, like a ridiculous quantity of archers. All that, and then let's grab us a headbutter. He's gonna come from over here. Kind of busy. There we go. So we're gonna go over here and follow our two favorite guys. Because these guys are the heroes. They're gonna go take on these Vikings all by themselves. Especially Kyle here. This is Kyle. Ah, oh, I kind of figured Kyle would have that under control. Over here, things are going fairly well ish. And so far, it's going to come down to how many arrows it takes to take out these axe guys. That's a big deal. Come on, catapult. Go, go, go. Ooh, the face. Right in the face. Keep going, keep going. Again in the face. This catapult is like dead on for these shots. Let's do some ballista. Let's do three of those. Ballista? I'm not sure it's Ballista. Alright, so we got that. Now we need things to back those up. There we go. Now they got something to do before they just come straight to the back line. So far, so good. Don't, don't take out the ballista. Come on, we need to save that part first. Those are our money makers. Or not. Let it go. That's option B. No, we definitely lost this one. It was a surprisingly close game, though. Um, let's take all that out. Let's try something else. This is what it comes down to. Nope. Oh, there's still one musket man over here. But there was still one musket man over here. I'm saying it like that. Fire, 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 fire. Go, go, go. Don't mess this up. Fire again. Oh.
Okay. We're officially going to try to just spread out everything. Because when it's all together, it's that kind of pull takes it all out. It goes downhill very quickly. So we're just going to shoot for this here. This looks like a good idea. Okay, okay. The catapult's distracted. That's good. That's what I want. So my musketmen can take their time and do their thing. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six musketmen versus a catapult and an axe guy. Five musketmen versus a catapult. There is no excuse here, I swear. <laughs> just please. Please. Just do your job. I just One job, guys. One job. Come on, come on. There we no. <sighs> okay, okay. I don't know why, I just really like the chicken man, so we're gonna keep that. And we're just gonna try to defend the chicken man. That's our goal. It's pretty much just to defend the chicken man at all costs. Here we go. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Come at me, bros. Let's do it. Go, red team, go. And uh, he did. He also did. We clearly have the better range. So there's very limited excuses here. Oh, don't kill the chicken, man. He, he's like the key piece of all of this. They killed him. Oh, no. It's breaking again. It's going down. <laughs> Yeah, we could still hypothetically win this, especially if their spirit throwers keep messing up. That'll make this very doable. Yeah, awesome. The gi giant red sun in the sky. It's perfect. Right here. We lost this one. Oh, they got that easy. Let's try to go back to the original strategy. possibly do against this. Let's see what you got. We're just going to put you to the test here. They have such overwhelming numbers. Oh, you still got like six in a shot. That's a lot. Here we go. So far, so good. I think. Again, it's just a mosh pit. Okay. This was the answer. Right here. Just overwhelming of people with little knives. Man, he's taking out so many in a shot. It won't matter. That's it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay. Okay. That was a really, really hard uh, section to get through. Uh, it took a lot more thinking than the last couple did. Uh, the desert was like a quick breeze through, but man, the Arctic one's crazy. So I think this last one's called like Japan or something like that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I had a great time playing with you, and I, as always, I hope to see you next time.